welcome back. For today's video, I have my top beauty essentials for spring. I love spring. I'm so happy that spring is finally like here and that warm weather is like right around the corner. I know for some of you guys, it's been warm like all year, like depending on where you live, but I live in Pennsylvania and the weather is crazy. So I'm just really excited to get into like spring and summer trends. I just can't wait. And today's video is actually sponsored by Semper. You guys know I always am honest with you and I only work with brands that I genuinely love and I love Semper. So thank you so much to them for working with me in today's video I'm so excited so let's just go ahead and jump right into it all right so my first essential is my Sempered perfume so you guys know if you've been watching me for a while I love smelling good like hygiene is like before makeup like that's number one in my book so if you guys don't know what Sempered is it is a monthly subscription service for perfumes and I love perfumes and as much as I love them I actually don't have a lot of them because they are so expensive and if you buy a lot of perfumes and you let them sit there they really go bad after a while that's why I only have like my set favorite perfumes so what's really cool about Sempered is you get to go online on their website which I'll link down below and you get to pick a perfume that you want and try a new one out every single month you can try out the same one if that's like your favorite scent every single month but it's really nice because you get a month's supply of perfume in this little container and you don't have to be committed to a really big bottle like for me I love switching up my scents but obviously I'm not gonna go out and buy a new hundred dollar perfume every single month so I don't have to be committed and I don't have to spend a lot of money on a new perfume so I really like this little container as well because all you do is twist it up like a lipstick and you have your spritzer right here which this spray is really really nice and I love the spritzer bottle versus a roller ball because roller balls for me personally don't last a long time on my skin I've never had a good experience with them so I love the spritzer application and also you can twist out the perfume and you have the label on it so you know exactly what you're using this is my current favorite perfume I'm obsessed with it it's like very florally very sweet which I'm all about and with each perfume you do get your little container which I think is really cute and just very travel friendly or even if you want to throw a perfume in your purse I think it's great because it's small it doesn't take up a lot of room and you can touch up throughout the day so I will leave a link to this down below if you guys want to check it out I love Semper I've used it in the past I still use it I have a ton of these containers because it really is a great subscription service so that is my first essential because smelling good is key so I guess I'll start with like the random things kind of they're still like beauty related but I also have this pink wild and breezy shimmer mist if you've been with me for a while you know that this wild and breezy scent from Victoria's Secret is another one of my favorite body spray scents and I just love how sweet and fresh it is I actually use this all year but I love the shimmer mist I actually used this this past weekend for my birthday it just makes your body look really pretty and glowy I think this is perfect for a birthday for an event or if you just want to be really glowy and pretty in the spring and summer I love the body wash I love the lotion I love the spray I wish there was a perfume like this for wild and breezy because I love it that much but just to read you guys what this smells like it says it's go wild in red guava and passion flower and I really do think it smells like flowers and fruit so right up my alley but I'm obsessed with this this is definitely a summer essential okay another essential that I have is not necessarily an essential that I'm just using in the spring obviously I'm using this all year but I wanted to mention it because of course Hygiene is super important, you guys know that. No, the reason I did wanna mention it is because sometimes in the spring and summer when people are wearing like, you know, tank tops or dresses or whatever, you can see like deodorant chunks. And I wanted to mention this deodorant because it's my absolute favorite and I don't have that issue. I don't worry though, been there, done that, and it's happened to me plenty of times. That's why I don't like to use roll-on deodorant anymore. Like, I just, I hate roll-on deodorant because of that reason. It balls up, you get this nasty residue underneath your pits, and it just doesn't last that long in my opinion. So that's why I've been using spray deodorant for years, but sometimes like when I'm traveling or something, I'll have to buy the little small uh, roller deodorant and I just I hate it I used to actually use the suave deodorant um, which you can get at the drugstore but then I discovered this last summer and I have been hooked ever since I've actually tried all of the scents this is just the one that I currently have I literally love all of them I think the cucumber one is probably my favorite but it is just basically a dry spray deodorant so you spray it there's no residue there's no white marks so when you put on a shirt after you apply the deodorant you're not going to get those streaks it smells really good it lasts all day so I just absolutely love the spray deodorant now for my last random favorite nude heels now that I'm officially 21 I feel like it's appropriate for me to wear heels not every single day obviously I'm still in college but I can wear them without feeling awkward you know I used to mention that whenever I would wear heels I would just feel so awkward like it just wasn't for me so I just got these actually recently because I wanted to wear them for my birthday weekend and I got these from famous footwear they are just Steve Madden they were only 30 bucks and I just think nude heels like this are just perfect and essential for spring and summer because you can wear them with a lot of different dresses 
rompers, even like white skinny jeans, and they look super cute. So this is just what this shoe looks like. I absolutely love it. And surprisingly, these aren't the most uncomfortable shoe. Like they're not too high, and I wore them all night and I had no issues. So definitely check out Famous Footwear for shoes. I get a lot of my shoes from there because they usually have pretty good deals. So yay! All right, moving into the makeup essentials. So first, I have my Becca First Light and Backlight Priming Filters. I've talked about these in the past, and I know that I sound like a broken record talking about these, but these are truly amazing. You guys have to try these. These are probably my all-time favorite high-end primers because they're really so beautiful on the skin. I think these are the best if you have normal combo to dry skin. I mean, you could use these if you have oily skin as well because they're not going to make your face look glittery or shimmery, but they definitely add like this beautiful glow and hydration to your skin, which I personally love because I have combo skin, and I love being glowy in the spring and summer. Like, I, I just think it's appropriate, you know? What I love about these primers is that there's no visible glitter or shimmer in them. It's literally just a beautiful glow like I don't even want to say this is like a liquid highlighter on your face because it's not even like that it just gives your skin just this really subtle glow so the backlight priming filter in my opinion is a little bit more intense than the first light priming filter um, just in a sense that you can really kind of see that glow whereas this one the first light one which is one of their new primers it's a little bit more subtle they're both beautiful you could even mix the two you can mix it with foundation you can apply it on the tops of your cheekbones you can apply it directly to your face you can do a lot with these so definitely worth the money a little bit goes a long way so it's totally worth a splurge so definitely get your hands on these if you're looking for a really good glowy hydrating primer speaking of high-end and being worth it I have another high-end product this is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream I'm actually wearing this today I've raved about this for so long on my channel I actually use this a lot not just in the spring and summer because I just love how hydrating and full coverage this is this literally has the lightweight feeling of a CC cream and the coverage of like a full coverage foundation like it's insane Saying. a little bit goes a long way I do about a pump and a half and it covers my entire face and I get everything like any imperfections any acne that I have scarring it covers it up and it's really really light on my skin like I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on right now I can touch my face and it doesn't feel heavy or nasty so that's why I think this is great for the warmer time because you're gonna get a really beautiful like airbrush look to your skin without that creepy old feeling like when you look at me up close it doesn't really look like I have a lot of foundation on you know what I mean you, you know what I mean so I have another face product. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This has been my favorite go-to setting spray recently. I think this is amazing. It really does make your makeup last. Like, I've been using this nonstop for like the past couple of weeks. I want to say even close to longer than a month at this point. I go through periods where I put my makeup on in the morning until the right end of the day. I use this and I can really notice a difference when I don't use it versus when I do. So I love this and I think for the price it's amazing. It has a really fresh, soft scent. It's not overpowering and the spritzer is really really nice. It doesn't like shoot out on your face It's just like a very light mist when you spray it So if you have not tried the setting spray definitely check it out I got mine at Walmart and they also have CVS they, I was gonna say they also have CVS at Milani. They also have Milani at CVS I think Walgreens has Milani as well uh, and Rite Aid. I'm not sure but definitely check out CVS or Walmart because that's where I get my Milani products from. By the way, I did not include any lip products in here because of course lip products are essential, but I want to do a whole dedicated video on like my top 10 or 15 favorite like drugstore lip products for spring and summer. So look out for that video, but that's why I didn't want to include any in here. So I have more face products to talk about. So I had to throw in here the new Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia. This is the new collab. Honestly, you guys, I talked about this before, but I did not think I was going to love this palette as much as I do. I mean, I, it looked beautiful, of course, but it just looks very dark and intimidating when you first look at it, especially from coming from a pale girl's perspective. But it's actually so beautiful and so wearable. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. As you can see, it is intense. I've heard a lot of people say that this is very glittery. I don't think it's glittery. I think it's intense. That It's very, very glowy. So if you like something natural, you're definitely not going to like this. But if you want to be very glowy and just like bam intense with your highlight, then definitely get this palette. I think it's worth it. I do think it's worth a splurge because you get six highlighters for 40 bucks and some highlighters you just get one for 40, you know? So I personally really like it. The color selection and the color range is very unique. I don't have any palette, anything like this 
and I haven't seen anything like this on the market recently so that's why I do think it is a hit. Another thing to keep in mind which don't be scared if it happens um, when you have your brush and you dip it in here and you mix it all around you do get a lot of kickback from the highlighters um, so like a lot of like fallout everywhere. That happens with a lot of my Anastasia palettes though so this is nothing new so for me it's really not an issue but I regardless I love the palette and I like how you can kind of customize your own highlighters like today I mix like a bunch to create my perfect shade so that's what I really like about it so I, I love this palette next I have a bronzer to talk about this is the Milani baked bronzer in the shade Soleil 05 I love this it is so beautiful I love that orange like terracotta color because I get super tan in the summer so this is perfect for me it actually shows up on my skin so I like this because it's a baked bronzer so it has this really beautiful gold reflex under it so you look very shimmery and glowy and bronzy like literally like a bronze goddess so this is really beautiful I love Milani face products they really are such high quality super pigmented products for a very low price so check out this bronzer if you really want an intense glowy bronzy look then I have a blush palette I've also been raving about this for so long but I can't stop using it this is the NYX sweet cheeks blush palette and let me just say I love palettes bronzer palettes blush palettes highlighting palettes because you have like so much to choose from. You're not limited to just one color every single day. Like you have pretty much a blush in here for every type of makeup look you could possibly ever do. So that's why I like it. You have intense blushes and then you have really light, pretty natural blushes. And this is also, I think, perfect for a lot of different skin tones just because of the variety and shade selection in here. So definitely get your hands on this. It's great quality, great for the price. I love NYX. Last but not least, I have a tinted brow gel to mention. I think tinted brow gel is essential. You don't want your brows melting off when it starts to get hot out. And this is my favorite currently, the Maybelline Brow Precise Viber Volumizer. I absolutely love this. The wand is really different. When I first got this, I was like, mm, what am I supposed to do with that? But it's actually really nice for setting your brows and just keeping them into place. I love the brush. I think it's great for getting every single one of your brow hairs kind of like lifted up and they just stay in place all day. So I'm really loving this lately and I have this one in the shade Deep Brown and it matches me perfectly. Alright guys, so that is it for my spring beauty essentials. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below of your go-to products for warmer weather and I'll leave everything that I mentioned down below as well as Scentbird's website. So don't forget to sign up and let me know also of your favorite perfumes because I'm always willing to try out some new ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye!